Welcome back to the Film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we're going over to Amazon Prime today, where I've watched this in the last couple of days. Uh, yes, this is called The Misfits, uh, a 15 certificate, 94 minutes. We're going to have a look at this. It's not to be mixed up, of course, with the classic 1961 Clark Gable and Marilyn Monroe film, or indeed the great 2009-2013 TV series about the unusual bunch of superheroes, which is both both excellent. The TV series was really excellent, and there was nothing wrong with the 1961 Marilyn Monroe feature either, but uh, not to be confused with those two, no. This is a heist action movie filmed by, uh, directed by Rennie Harlan and written by Robert Henney and Kurt Wimmer. And it stars, yes, uh, not a bad cast, some young stars, some, some older stars, let's say, let's be respectful. Pierce Brosnan is the main guy that promotes this, is at the, his image is at the front of all the posters, etc. Rami Jaber, Hermione Caulfield, Jamie Chung, Mike D'Angelo, and T Tim Roth, yeah, Tim Roth's in this. I, like, I do like a bit of Tim Roth. Nick Cannon and Quace Candle. It was a box office disaster, this. <laughs> I didn't watch it at the cinema, fortunately. I watched it on streaming for a site from Amazon, which I subscribed to anyway. So I always I always, always give it a little bit of leeway, because as I say, if I subscribe to it anyway, if I get anything half decent, I'm happy. Is this half decent? Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Uh, it was a box office disaster, of course, so it didn't bode very, very well. What's it about? Well, a federal, even a federal maximum security prison can't hold Richard Pace. Yes, this is Mr. Pierce Brosnan, a brilliant international thief. But his daring escape and high octane car chase, eluding the FBI and police, ends with him being scooped up by the misfits. Yes, not the superheroes, as I've already mentioned. Abandoned modern day Robin Hoods, no less. Uh, I don't know what, there's a couple of Maid Marians as well. Led by the eccentric and charismatic Ringo, with Violet, the Prince, and the Wick. Uh, and he probably got on me wick by at some stage. And Pacey's daughter, Hope, yeah, so even Pacey's daughter's uh, involved in this. A mysterious group who do devious things for all the right reasons, of course they do. A skilled group convinces Pace to join them to pull off the heist of the century. Well, it's only into, we're only into year 20, uh, 22 of it, aren't we? So it's possibilities. Is it any good? Let's have a look what the scores are on the doors from the various sites. Uh, is it any better than the box office? Uh, which doesn't always mean it's a bad film. Bo bad box office can turn into a cult classic, can't it? But all these scores are at the 22nd of March 2022 at 10am. Rotten Tomatoes, not overly impressed. Approval rating of just 19, 1, 9, not 90, 1, 9, 19% based on 26 reviews. Average rating of 3.7 out of 10. Not great. Five fresh, so yeah, not a total disaster. I think this is any any film, uh, never never a film that's a total disaster. Or someone likes it out there, which is how it should be. Uh, five fresh and 21 rotten. The consensus, uh, sorry, the actual audience itself. I'll give you the audience consensus in a minute. Uh, the audience is 3.2 out of 5, so that's okay, because if you put that out of 10, it's 6.4, so that's, that's, that's over a watchable, so that's okay. The audience consensus is you've probably seen worse action thrillers than The Misfits, <laughs> possibly, but you've probably seen ones that were a whole lot better too, yeah, well. That goes without saying, doesn't it? But not a bad score from the audience on Rotten Tomatoes. Metacritic, the other little site we look at for the critics' views on our films. Uh, the film has a score of just 25 out of 100, so not great again. That's based just on 11 reviews. And it scores, the lowest score it got was 16, that's 1.6, and the highest it got was 50. Well, not bad. Uh, Roger Ebert.com, Brian Tlerico, we have a look at him sometimes. He only gave it 25. He said, the characters are bland, the dialogue is atrocious, the action is mediocre, and even the heist is a boring buster. Any, any, any positives there, Brian? Uh, not too much, but the looks of it. Chicago sometimes is Richard Rupert. It wasn't a total disaster with it, though. He, he, he was one of the 50s. It was two or three guys give it 50. He said, it's an intermittently entertaining endeavour. So totally different to what Brian thought. Thanks mostly to the effortlessly suave lead performance by Pierce Brosnan. I can't disagree with that. As a career thief who looks like he wakes up wearing a jacket with a pocket square and with his hair perfectly quaffered. Yeah, I hate him. I really do. But the action sequences are ho-hum. Yep. The editing is stunningly clumsy. 
and the main heist is so cartoonishly ridiculous, we don't even believe the actors believe it's possible. But everything's possible in this life, isn't it? So thank you, Richard. You were a bit positive in parts, but a bit negative in parts. That's probably why you give it a score of 50. Uh, five out of ten, if you like. Internet Movie Database, again, we're not getting any fantastic scores. This is Joe Public. Interestingly enough, there's about... Uh, in the hundreds, people give it 10 out of 10, which I don't believe for one iota. But more believable, there's almost 2,000 one out of 10s, which is a little bit more. I always find the one out of 10s more believable than the 10 out of 10s. So, as you know, I ignore those. I ignore those scores. Uh, and obviously, we've left with 2,089. Joe Public, normal people like you and me, scored it anywhere between 6 and 9. And 4,000, or a lot more, 4,523 scored it between 2 and 5. So 32, I would class that then. I take the stats, put them together, a 32% positivity. So almost one in three people thought it was okay. Uh, is, that, is that okay? Possibly, possibly. If, like me, you've not paid any extra for it. So what are my thoughts? What what for my little two pennyworth? I mean, let's face it, Pierce, Pierce, like the rest of us, has to pay the bills, I'm sure. Uh, and obviously, we we do see a lot of actors go this way. Don't I can mention people like Bruce Willis, uh, Nicholas Cage, to some extent. Uh, they've got to pay the bills. And it's certainly not the worst bunch of actors uh, in, in line. I say some faces I'm not familiar with and some faces I am, but it's certainly not the the worst bunch of, of actors I've seen in the film. And yes, I thought it was an okay start. All right, didn't didn't sort of punch me in the gut or anything, but it was an okay start. But it sort of does rapidly decline just a little bit after that. I mean, it was clinically, obviously of the locations, clinically sterilising to watch all these on-location shots. But even the presence of another of my favourite actors in Tim Roth, say I do quite like Pierce Brosnan, but Tim Roth as well, uh, who must also have bills to pay, of course, uh, couldn't rise this above being bang average. And saying it's bang average, it's been a little bit kind, but I perhaps am a little bit of being a little bit kind on this, because as I say... It, it was pretty, it was it was nice background, we'll talk about that in a second. I find myself sort of just glancing up occasionally and watching it, if something, if I heard something mentioned, uh, whilst doing more interesting things, and that's what, I, I do that with a few films, but so obviously some films I do it more than others. Some films I'll put my phone down, I'll put my laptop down, and fully concentrate on a really good film, but with this, it was just interesting background if you like or a nice a nice blue sky background most of the time and it certainly didn't distract me from doing other things you know i, I can multitask and all my guy but i can multitask to some extent so it didn't stop me doing stuff on my phone and laptop unfortunately but as i said it wasn't you know uh, rather than have just nice calming music in the background perhaps laps have this because there's nothing nothing the edge of the seat stuff in it put it that way uh, could it have been better uh, as a heist movie of course it could but it does follow the rules it does follow all the basic rules of a heist move, movie uh, but adds nothing to of course the great stuff that's already out there I didn't mind the on-screen chemistry between the characters, the father and daughter, Pierce Brosnan and his on-screen daughter. I thought that worked pretty well. I quite liked it as a, as a dad myself. You, you sort of like these sort of things and you know there's a bit of an edge there, but you know, as long as it all turns out fine, that's nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But the whole thing just lacks a lot of jeopardy, a lot of tension, not a lot. There is comedy in it, but it didn't really work for me, the humour in it. Uh, which is is key to a good heist movie. I mean, I think I think you need a nice a nice piece of dark humour at least in a good heist movie. It is a nice goody goody ending that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy. I suppose if you've sat through the other an hour and thirty minutes or so without the credits. But the getting there, there wasn't much to it, was there, uh, of getting to that nice goody goody ending. So there wasn't much much in the getting there, and of course, past as I said, the opening segment, which was okay to the film as well, but. Uh, yeah, all a bit of a meh, obviously. And I, I will give it a score. So I'm not if I don't ever totally dislike a film, I won't even bother giving it a score. I'm not gonna go the way of a two or three or four or four out of ten or something like that. So I am gonna give it my bare minimum that rates a mark, which is just a five out of ten, which is as I said, as a background thing. Turn your turn your brain off, perhaps if you did want to watch it without any distractions, just turn your brain off and then enjoy the scenery, enjoy as I said, enjoy a couple some of the screen chemistry, which was fine. If you're a Pierce Brosnan fan, enjoy watching Pierce Brosnan. If you're a Tim Roth fan, you're probably disappointed because he wasn't perhaps in it as much as he could have been or or his character didn't quite uh, have any edge or any real interest in all fairness. All very, all very bland, which was what most of the film was. And as I say, if you like watching nice blue skies and 
uh, I don't, I, I sort of uh, that region of the world, uh, the Middle East, that sort of clinical sort of sterilised thing, which is pretty. And you say, you, you know, if you like watching people who obviously got money stroll around in these places, then fair enough. But uh, say, I won't give it a five out of ten. It was okay. Uh, as I say, not not a total disaster, but not not far short. But uh, if you want a really good ice movie, this probably isn't it anyway. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. Where are we going to your estate? Have a great one. Look after yourself. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. To me here again on the film and TV channel. I only ask one thing, Noah. Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.